In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Plex Media server on a Raspberry Pi 4 in under 10 minutes. The only requirement of this video, you need a Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 gigs of RAM or higher, an Ethernet cable for internet connection, a power adapter, an external SSD. Now instead of using an SD card, we will be using an external SSD to install the operating system and store the Plex Media content. That being said, let's get started by downloading the Raspberry Pi Imager. Now open your browser and navigate to the following link. Download and install the Raspberry Pi Imager. I'm using a Windows 11 computer, so I selected the corresponding version. Now once installed, open the software and connect the external SSD through the USB 3 port on your computer. Now choose OS and select Raspberry Pi or other. Then opt for Raspberry Pi OS Lite Edition 64-bit. Now select Storage and choose your SSD. Now before clicking on Write, let's tweak some settings. Click on the Settings gear icon. Enable Set House Name to identify the Raspberry Pi 4 on a network. For example, I'm going to set it as a Pi 4. Also enable SSH to connect with Raspberry Pi from a remote computer. Now choose Use Password Authentication and set the username and password. For example, Pi 4 as the username. You can enable Wireless LAN and provide a valid SSID and password for automatic Wi-Fi connection after each reboot. But it's recommended to use an Ethernet cable for internet connection. Now set the locale and click on Save. Now click on Write and the software will flash the Raspberry Pi OS to the SSD. Now this will take a few seconds. Now for completion, close the software and eject the SSD. Reconnect the SSD back to your computer. You will find that bootfs has mounted where the Raspberry Pi OS boot files are located. Now look for the config.txt file and add the following lines at the bottom to overclock the Raspberry Pi 4. So please ensure you have a proper CPU cooler installed before overclocking to avoid any issues. Now overclocking the Raspberry Pi 4 may improve video transcoding speed and enhance the Plex server's video playback performance. You go ahead and connect the SSD or external SSD along with the power supply and Ethernet cable and turn on the Raspberry Pi. To connect to the Raspberry Pi from a remote computer, open command prompt on your Windows computer and type ping-4 rpi4.local. Now rpi4 is the hostname I set to my Raspberry Pi. Now running this command will display the IP address associated with that hostname on the network. For example, 192.168.1.11, which is the current IP address assigned by router. Now, I'm going to use this IP address to connect to Raspberry Pi. In command prompt, type ssh space pi4 ampersand and type the IP address. Now, replace the IP address with your Raspberry Pi's IP, then enter the password when prompted. And voila, we have connected to Raspberry Pi 4. The first thing is to edit the ssh config file to increase the idle timeout limit for ssh connection. Now, type this command and uncomment these two lines. Now set client alive interval to 1 million to keep the SSH connection active for a few hours. Once this is done, save the changes. Now head over to this URL in your browser to set up CASA OS. Now copy this line and paste it on the command prompt. The Casa OS is an open source project focused on delivering a simple personal cloud experience and uses the power of Docker ecosystem to run various applications like Plex, Jellyfin, Home Assistant, and more. Now, this installation will take a few minutes to install, so please be patient. Now, once it's done, open a new tab in your browser and type the IP address of your Pi to access the Casa OS web UI.
Reset the username and password in Casa OS. Congratulations, you have successfully set up Casa OS on the Raspberry Pi. You go to the App Store in Casa OS and find the Plex Media Server Docker image to install it. Now once it's installed, go back to the main page of Casa OS and launch the Plex application. Now create a new user account and log in into Plex. You can proceed with the further steps and skip the Plex Pass setup if you don't need access to premium content. Next, name the Plex server, example, RPI4 Plex Media, and ensure this option is ticked and click on Next. Under the Media Library, choose Add Library and select Movies. Now add folders to tell the Plex server where the movie files are stored inside the storage rack. Casa OS automatically creates a Samba server with folders like movies, music, and TV shows, which you can use these folders to store media content and link with Plex library. Once it's done, add the library and repeat the process for other media types like music. Now you can access the Plex server and play media files from multiple devices. Now as you can see, this is coming from Plex which can be watched for free. Now to access our content, choose more from the sidebar. If you haven't copied any media files, you can head back to the Casa OS web UI. Select Files, then choose Media and paste Movies and Music there. The Plex will automatically add subtitles and download the metadata from the internet to organize your files. Now once you have added the media files, go back to the Plex Media Server, then select Movies and scan Library Files. You can now see all the files you copy to the Movies directory. Now as you can see, this is the 1080p footage that is playing without any frame drops. I can play the same 1080p video on 3 screens and 720p video on 4 screens. It's time to set up the static IP address for your Raspberry Pi 4. Now, as you can see, this is the current IP address of my Raspberry Pi 4. If you want to set up a static IP address for your Raspberry Pi, it's recommended to do so through your Wi-Fi router by reserving the IP address permanently. However, if you prefer another method, you can head back to the command prompt and type this command to set the static IP address. You can simply rewrite the above lines, then modify the IP address. In my case, 192.168.111 is the desired one that I chose to use. Now in your case, the IP address series will be different. So follow the above line as an example. Now for saving the changes and rebooting the Raspberry Pi 4, you should be able to ping the new static IP address. Now please note that using the router to set a static IP address is the preferred and more reliable method. Now within a network, you can simply type the IP address with the port number 32400 into any computer's browser and it will open the Plex Media Server. And that's pretty much it. This is how you set up a Plex Media Server on Raspberry Pi 4 under 10 minutes. Now check the description for more information. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KS Kirail. I will see you in the next one.